Now, this is where things started to get murky for him. In 2021, he announces he's here to help younger talent. He's here to make them um, he's here to make them better and that sort of stuff. And then he runs into the world champion, Hangman Adam Page. And after the fact, the two of them have said that things that got said in the ring were not agreed upon, were not okayed, were not cleared, and that it turned into a shoot-style thing. Medusa, we love the blurring the lines because that's the best thing. But how do you avoid doing that in a world championship situation? Mm. So it's happened to me several times and not several, just a few. And when something like this happens, it's best not to get caught up into it, but to be the better person, even though you're in front of a crowd or live and still be your character, but try to be in control of the situation because it will filter out quick and the other person is the chaotic one that don't know what they're doing. And pretty soon they're going to realize they look like an idiot. Right. And you're just standing there. So, and even if it goes into a shoot, like one of mine has as well, um, you, you let that person, but you have a control in a situation where that person is trying to shoot and you have complete control. And, and hopefully at the end of the day, um, the person realizes what happened, you know, that they were in the wrong. Maybe there's an apology or sometimes egos get involved and it'll never happen. And there's that buildup of just resentment and hate and it, which is unfortunate. Um, and so then again, it can escalate. Then it gets really ugly that there's so much built up that one feels that one knows everything. And they don't have to um, take that step forward and be the better person and, and apologize, let's say. Um, and then sometimes you have uh, veterans that know everything and they expect, you know, other talent to younger talent to obey. Um, and, you know, it's it's unfortunate. Um but it does happen. And I think that the best thing that I did is that I controlled the situation. I didn't succumb to that level of just not being professional. That is just never my, my vibe. Um, but I learned from that and the character of the person. And I know what that I'm going to get in the future if I ever work with them again and I avoid that person in any work possible. It just, I would not give them the satisfactory to ever be able to work with me again. So what no. do you do when he's one of the pillars of your company? When he is a pillar of that company and he has that um, force or he has that meat behind him, he has maybe the um, ownership or, you know, maybe top management behind them and you're up against that and whatever you say or do is going to be looked at wrong. Um, I definitely would hope that management or ownership would listen to both sides and not, you know, have their tail between their leg and let the monkeys control the situation. And that's what has happened a lot with the AEW that Tony is, I do have to say this. You can say what you want, but Tony is just a very, he, he knows the wrestling. He he's watched wrestling for a long time, whatever he knows the business, but he, he also is a nice guy. He's very approachable. He'll talk to you. He'll smile. He'll laugh. He'll have a good time. But I think at the beginning, when all of this was established that I think the guys positioned themselves very well. And they had, you know, the nut sacks right here, basically, and they controlled everything. And that's what got out of hand, I think. And uh, so whenever there was start to new talent to start to come in, I mean, veteran or young or old or new, whatever, it didn't matter how young these people were in the business or how long they were there first. They were, you know, the pets of the business 
and they could do no wrong, basically. But I think in this situation, Tony may have stepped up and had to set a precedence. And I think they let him go for a while and chill out and, you know, and then punk left or got fired. I don't know. But I kind of saw some of the video and, you know, again, I wasn't there. I can't say I only see the first strike, you know, and so it just questions. I would never throw the first strike when there's heat like that. and You've got something going on. It just what does that do? What does that prove? What does that show? If you're there to educate the younger talent, that is not a step in the right direction. I 